What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to bring you another video in my Swagmas series. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a tutorial on this look where I combine two of my most recent Natasha Denona palettes, um, namely the Triochrome palette and the Zendo palette. I'm very, very excited to show you guys this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing this now two times. Um, and yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy it and yeah. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway. I wasn't planning on it, but we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway where I buy an eyeshadow palette that you want from Sephora for you. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so if you want it, sound off down below, and yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I created this look on my left eye. First, what I'm going to be doing is going into my Triochrome palette from Natasha Denona and I'm going to go into the really, really light greeny shade, which is called Androdite, I believe. And I'm going to take a super, super fluffy brush from Eddie Funkhauser and basically just apply this all in my transition and pretty much my crease area. This is going to be a super super light shade and because it is so light it will eventually kind of just fade with all of the blending that I do but that's not a big deal um, and I'm happy to see that it actually does show up maybe not as like pigmented or as colorful as it will on lighter skins but it still shows up so that's cool. Then what I'm going to do is take a smaller blending brush. This one happens to be from Coastal Scents. They're no longer a brand. Sucks. And then we're going to go into Scripe. Scrap. Which is the darkest of the greens in this palette. And I'm going to use that to be my primary uh, lid shade. Or not, sorry. Not lid. Crease shade. And blend up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and build my lower lash line while we're here. First with that scrap shade. And then I'm going to go back into that Andrade shade. Okay, now I will say one thing to make sure that everything is blended the way you want. You can always, once again, go back in with that bigger brush and then go back in with the smaller brush. Just do everything the way you want. There's no rhyme or reason at all. Now for my lid shades, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna take a lid brush. This one happens to be an Eddie Funkhauser brush as well. And I'm gonna go into the Zendo palette. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Equilibrium. Now this is not really a green. This is more of like a tealy blue situation. But I really just wanted to add a deeper uh, shimmer to this look. So I'm gonna add that to my brush and I am gonna go ahead and spray. I just find that that no matter what the shimmer is, that just ensures that I don't get any fallout of any sort. And I'm just gonna take that pretty far up, obviously to my lower, to my lash line, and then to the outer edge. I am gonna blend just a little bit with this brush. This is like a fluffier lid brush, so that's cool. And you see how it's still a little stark on that outer V? Go back in with that Coastal Sense shade and that scrape or the Coastal Sense brush in the scrape and just go over that outer edge. That's how I kind of blend that whole thing together. And then of course I will continue on applying that blue shade 
onto my lid now at the point that i am done applying that i am just going to flip my brush over and then i am going to go into the triochrome in this palette which is scarab so like i said i'm going to flip it over same brush and just apply the scarab shade really really pretty shade then what i'm going to do of course is spray my brush and apply that to my inner lid now this you can see is a super super bright metallic it does pull very very starkly like olive green on my lids um but that's okay it's okay it still works really well and it kind of brings back some more green after that tealy moment right there then for my inner corner i'm going to take a fluffy blending or er, fluffy pencil brush this happens to be from eddie funkhauser again and then i'm going to go into the shade flow from my zindo palette flow right there and this is going to be another tealy moment that goes in my inner corner and this is going to strictly stay in my inner corner i'm not going to blend it too far up or too far down just really oops just really in that inner corner now that's the look all i need to do is add on liner and mascara for liner i'm actually using my new la girl ultimate eye intense and ultimate black i'm really enjoying these liner pencils i've only had one previously and i just hauled like three from this line i'm enjoying them all so far so anyways let me put on those other products and then i'll hop back off so you guys can see my finished look so this is the finished look. So this is the finished look. I'm really, really enjoying this look. This is now the second time that I've done this look. I did it yesterday and then I needed to film this and add some more footage and some other videos. So I'm now filming it again, but I really like this look. I'm really enjoying my palettes that I've picked up in these last couple of months random things that are on my face that you would not expect once again i am wearing that life in sepia shade really really enjoying that shade from mac and then blush wise i'm actually wearing my lethal cosmetics blush which is in the shade calyx i believe so really really pretty blush this is now the second time i've worn it i am enjoying it um but like i said i've only worn it twice so like i said this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video which of course will be tomorrow bye guys